in A&E departments up and down the country who are working extremely hard. But I think it's also really important to remember that despite those pressures, the NHS in England is manning, managing to see and treat nine out of ten people within the four hours. That's a better performance than anywhere else in the United Kingdom. It's a better performance actually than any country in the world that measures its A&E performance. But what we now need is a long-term plan, which we have through the NHS England five-year forward view, to actually give a, a different type of care to vulnerable older people. Because um, a lot of the problems that we're seeing in A&E departments now are because older people are going to A&E departments. They're often uh, having to be admitted to hospital. They might be staying quite a long time. That's creating a lot of pressure in the system. So the plan we have now, which the government funded in the autumn statement we can do on the back of a strong economy is to uh, give a totally different model of care to those people, much more care in the community, care from GPs, and I think that's the long-term way that we'll reduce the pressure. Well, I do agree that there's a very strong link between what happens in the social care system and what happens in the NHS, um, but when we've set local council budgets, we've very much done so on the basis that they will protect their social care provision, find efficiency savings that don't impact on frontline care. But I think there's something we can do in the NHS, which we are doing from April, never been done before, which is to join up the provision of service in the NHS and the social care system. Uh, too often you find that uh, an older person who has dementia, who's in a care home, finds themselves shunted from one part of the social care system to another part of the NHS system. Um, what we're doing is joining up that care, sharing medical records, joint care plans, joint medical teams overseeing those people. And that way I think we can improve the care that they give and reduce pressures on A&Es.